This is day. This is three. <laughs> Hello, this is not a spring chicken. This is our wrap up, or actually our vlog for day three of the MAB show. Now, one of the things you're going to notice is well, it kind of looks like we're in a kitchen, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. This is our wrap up. <laughs> we had a problem with, um, with the internet. Mm. And that killed us for two days. I mean, yeah, actually, it did, didn't it? <laughs> They, uh, the internet basically had a restrictor on it to how much how much material you could load, and videos are are, are very big, intensive, and we're banned with yeah. some. Yeah. So part of it is it's a place you've been staying at for a while, which um, apparently they've had a new change in policy. <laughs> so yeah, we probably won't be staying. But no, we stay there for several reasons. Yeah. Um, one of them was the internet. The other one was the food in the microwave. Yeah, um. <laughs> and well, see, it's got a great big area to do work in, which we actually didn't get to do much work in this time. Mm -hmm. We did for some, but not as much as we always do. So. But it's always the case. It's like we can never get as much work as we like to get done. But that's kind of like the case when you go at a trade show, because usually it's just like you can never get as much done as you would like to. Now, yesterday, you might have heard a little bit of frustration. I was talking about four out of five. I actually looked at the calendar as to what we had scheduled, and it actually was nine out of ten. You're going, what? Yeah, 9 out of 10 things did not come through like it's expected. When I say 9 out of 10, let's see, the first one was a press conference where we could not find the location. And we couldn't find the location either on our map or by visiting the booths that were supposed to be there. Um, and then we found out that the company moved. Yeah. Of course, that was... Yeah, it not only moved it, it moved the whole building. So. <laughs> yeah, it moved to another building. So, yeah, that didn't help. And we are like, how would you not know? Well, also in the press room, we do have a press, a press board. So companies that make changes, they put it on the board. The change, especially if they're supposed to be having a press conference and, what, they're in a different location? <laughs> okay. So that was the first one. Second one was a happy hour with entertainment from the BBC so you would understand what, you know, the entertainers and the people and meet them and all that stuff, right? Well, that didn't quite happen. In fact, the happy hour they had, well, the bartender shut it down. <laughs> well, no, uh, this actually sounds a lot like our, our, our 2 v log. No, I know. That's why I was telling them because they were only like hearing four out of five, so I'm telling nine out of ten. Yeah. So anyway, so that was how the day progressed. Now today, it was a whole lot better. I know he's thinking I'm repeating the whole thing. Nah. Uh, it's, it's called a press issue. It's trying to lead up to what we're doing right now. But yeah, no. so what happened was... We didn't go to any press events. Um, we went to press events prior yeah, for to the actual prior. exhibit starting, so those were fabulous. The actual press events during the show, now that was a different story. Because mm -hmm. oh, wait a minute, I also didn't tell you is I went to another press event too. Oh, that's right, she did go to one. Oh, so that's ten out of eleven, which actually was. But of course, I went towards the end, thinking that the people might be there. But well, let's just say it's the same people that are in the booth, like two. Um, yeah. <laughs> but you know the topic was kind of interesting. I get did get to talk to people, but but you know what I mean. It's like you go to the press event to find out new information, even though they've been sending out the press releases ahead of time to demonstrate the product and to meet the people that can actually give you some insight and tell you about things. Because the idea is that you go there with other media people that are going to ask questions, and you have their attention to answer questions. That's part of the yeah idea. So anyway, today, after much frustration yesterday, is we spent, well actually not not today as you can see, but the last day of the V-Live, is we spent the day very selfishly. <laughs> well, actually we have one more tomorrow. Oh, very selfishly covering for um, live streaming because for the NAB, National Association of Broadcasters, the big deal is broadcast, right? So you broadcast with big equipment, like big studio stations, a, the networks, right, or smaller because anybody that can broadcast is actually, can have a channel as, like now, like a broadcaster, right? Well, uh, so They were talking about, and I think the Harris thing about um, one of the people they're doing business with has like 60 or 70 uh, televisions, uh, not, you know, those are camera stations, not television stations, cam that each one of their cameramen has the capability of now going on live mm -hmm. from wherever they're at and feeding it back. Instead of an ENG truck, they've got it with them. Yeah. And it makes so, a big difference. It makes a huge difference because, first of all, they don't have to bring the truck out. Much smaller and more portable. 
And the biggest challenge is there's a lot of the people, they don't need all that big equipment, but they're trying to make it make, especially the smaller stations and smaller broadcasters like us that want to just be able to do it with smaller equipment. So we spent much of today going to visit the companies we hadn't seen before and the equipment, yes, as well as figuring out live streaming. So a lot of you are going, well, you've been doing live streaming already. Yeah, we have. Yeah, but it's just you have to be able to get it out under... Uh, and because this is going to one place, place. Mm -hmm. we w w when we're doing a live stream, we need to be able to get it out to a place that we has a um, that we can control the content on because we can't edit the right. stuff we're doing. We want to be totally able to put a head and a tail on the thing with credits yeah. and stuff. Yeah, we want the head, the tail, the credits, we and want the social interaction, the commercials, all of that. So to be able to do that, we're migrating from the smaller equipment we have to the bigger equipment, right? And then, see, the magic numbers we kept hearing, oh, you could hear 10,000, you could hear 5,000, 2,500. The lowest you can do 1, it. 1,000. Okay, and the lowest you got is not the lowest it is because you actually have to have software to go with the interface. Yeah. So, you can, yeah, you can pay, buy a piece of equipment for $500 and spend $500 on software. So, right? So, everywhere, that we're like 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000 dollars. So, part of it is, what have we looked at today? Equipment manufacturers, <laughs> software. Interfaces, interfaces. Lots of interfaces. Yeah, so, interfa and a lot of racking our brain. And one of the things at the show is everybody looks at what everybody else is doing, especially in the newsroom, because oh, yeah. you see the equipment there, and you go, you go <laughs> examine the equipment yeah. that's sitting on a table, mm -hmm. and try to figure out. Okay, I mean, you can go live stream with an expensive interface and a camera that runs a hundred dollars. Yeah, and it looks like Which the we, we would see it, but the interface, the interface a month, and going it was a thousand dollars a month. Up to twenty five hundred a month. Yeah, twenty five hundred. How big you get? Mm -hmm. And you have to wait four weeks before you can get it. Oh yeah, amazing. Mm -hmm. So we've been scratching our head because we're like, well, you know, you can do it with our cell phone, but see, that doesn't give you the capability to edit, right? Right. Or you can do it with a webcam, but see, that's still different because it doesn't give you the capability to edit. And uh, at webcam quality is not as good as you need for you're going to do. We have broadcast, we have pro equipment that we need to be able to go out live streaming on. Mm -hmm. And the problem is, is that today the newer equipment doesn't come with a firewire connection, and a firewire connection is what you need for the start of the whole process. So part of it is today is the <coughs> almost culmination of. Actually, weeks, huh? Yeah. Weeks of research. Yeah. Days of walking the floors. Days of talking to people and looking at equipment. Yeah. And tomorrow we gotta we gotta go do it all over again from to figure out how to cut the cost from what everybody told us today. I know. So I know you're kind of like, well, that's more than the NAB show, uh huh? Because it it continues. Because one of the reasons people go to shows like that is. You know, it's not only seeing the vendors and make, yeah. making making the contacts. It's about interfacing with the people that are there. Mm -hmm. Because see, part of it is by going to one of the booths. Who we've been going back and forth on email for how long? A week. Yeah. Okay. We stopped by the booth and got an answer within what? A couple minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Which they should have been answering to begin with, because you're trying to make trying to do business with them and their business questions. So, mm -hmm. but. Um, also, we go because we spend a lot of time in the newsroom talking to people about, you know, because they have the same questions. They know that we do that we we're doing things that they want to do, and they're trying to figure out we can't do it for that rate. Well, mm -hmm. because we've been doing it longer, and we know where to cut every corner. Mm -hmm. So we don't exactly tell them how to completely do everything. We just tell them minor things, but the overall, we don't give you tricks for the trade. Anyway, see, part of it is that's one of the reasons you go to those events, but this is our VLAN for day three. Actually, it's actually day four. It's our third VLAN, though. But it's one, two, three, four. This is our fourth day Fourth, here. fourth day for NAB. And this the is, this second is, day of the exhibits in our third VLAN. Yeah, it's, re, it's sort of <laughs> convoluted. But when we leave, they'll still be doing two more days. Mm -hmm. Because we'll have got all the information we need. Mm -hmm. So. So life's a changing.